Hello, hello, my name is Stephanie, the creative girl behind the designs. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for stopping by. Today we will be going and setting up, or I'll be setting up, my classic happy planner, which will be a Franken planner. And it will include these planners that I introduced um, last week. We are now post Christmas. Um, so we're going to talk about that too. Stay tuned. All right, so we are, as I said, post Christmas. Um, as it may for most of us, the holiday got away from me and so did my planners. <laughs> so it is what it is. Um, I am going to push a few things out this week and then I'll continue them into 2024. Can you believe it? 2024, that's crazy. So one of those videos, of course, is of my tree. I will still show that to you um, <clears throat> in all its little um, decorations that I did. So that's coming. I know I say it every time I do a video and I swear life just gets in the way, <laughs> but we'll try not let that happen this week. So we are going to be setting up or I'll be setting up my 2024 planner, which is going to be a Franken planner. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got a frog in my throat. Um, I have multiple planners. So as you know, from my true planner assessment that I did, um, I have a lot of planners that I need to use or just feel the need to use in some way, shape or form. So I have come up with a plan to use them and I'm actually going to incorporate um, a few other things that I forgot I even had. Um, and we'll go over that as well. But basically, <clears throat> I'm going to be setting up a Franken planner because I feel like when I did my planners in the past, um, I would have multiples. My intentions are always good. But for some reason, they would kind of start slacking off after the first quarter. So I am hoping doing it this way is going to keep me on track and um, get me to use the planners. So as you know, 2023 for me was use the stickers. I'll be continuing that going into 2024, as well as let's use the planners too. So I am gonna try and use what I have. If I hadn't already purchased it, I'm gonna try really hard not to purchase it, anything more. I'm gonna try and use what I have, and I would really love to be able to get through one, two, or all of the planners in their entirety, um, like I did for the, um, I think it was 2022, which was the Let Love, or Let Go and Grow planner cover. Um, I really love the fact that I can open that planner and I have one place for everything. So I am going to be, once again, trying to separate everything else from business um, and we're gonna see how it goes. You know, planners are something where it's not important if, granted it doesn't feel good if you drop off a planner, but um, it's not going to, the world's not gonna end if you stop using a planner. You, you should always plan to use what you need at that moment in time. So planning for you may be um, one planner. It may be multiple planners. It may be incorporating big, classic, and small. As you know from my channel, I have all, tried pretty much all the sizes, at least that you've seen on film. I've tried the big, classic, and mini. So I love the concept of the big, but I'm down to now one desk. I'm kind of liking it. One location for everything. I'm kind of not liking it because it gets very cluttered up. But, you know, I'm going to try and rectify that going into 2024. But um, I want to try and use them. And if I don't, you know what? I'm going to give myself grace and I'm going to say, it's okay if I don't. So that's how we're going to start off our, our year. I have, so I, I made just a slight bit of a change. <laughs> so no surprise there. We haven't even started the new year and I'm already changing something. So um, as you know, this... <clears throat> in all of my planners this coming year, and even the 23-24, I went ahead 
and I put, I think you can see this, uh, the name of the planner in, I used my uh, Dymo label maker, which I'll be sure is linked below, uh, to create a label. To I labeled every one of the planners. I always try and remember what they are. And, you know, the cards that come with them now that are nice, they don't leave that little goopy dot on them. Um, they're nice. You can put them in the back of the planner, but then it creates more bulk. So I do have three 18-month planners and one 12-month planner. Now, these 18-month planners started July 2023. I did not successfully start them, or I started them and didn't use them. So uh, I'm going to be starting in January. And then, of course, I have this 2024 planner. So um, I got a theme of green going on, and I was trying to come up with a way to do everything I want in one planner that um, involved, I would, would have preferred classic discs, but I'm finding that um, I'm just running out of space. So I'll, you'll see it in a minute. I'm bringing out the expanders. Um, lucky for me, I am working from home, so I do not have to lug this, you know, here, there, anywhere with any great difficulty. Um, should I ever need to leave the house for any period of time, I could take out portions, put it back on a classic disc, and leave the house with it. <clears throat> but um, I have the ability to keep it here, so I'm going to try and do everything in one, and, and I'm going to see how that goes. If it doesn't work, I'll switch it up as the months go on. So the next challenge was deciding uh, what cover to use. <laughs> so, and I say this because I'm going to start out in January with this setup that we're going to do today, but it may change. It may change maybe just the cover. Um, it just depends. So let's just kind of dive in. I did most of the work because I, I, for whatever reason, this year, this coming year, 2024, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I was struggling to figure out how I wanted to set it up. Um, I don't know if I was just reaching too high, reaching for things that don't exist. I don't know. But I was struggling to get a setup put together. So I think I've nailed it down. <laughs> and that's why I say it may change, it may not. We're going to start the year this way, though. So here's what I'm doing. I have my 18-month. I have my catch-all. I have my health. And then I have my creative journal. And anything that is not used in any of these planners, I will absolutely be holding on to because if I decide to change a layout, I can just pull from here and take one of the old ones, redate them, and we're good to go. This is the um, social media slash, I don't really want to say business planner. It's a social media planner, content plan. Um, and then one thing I didn't bring in my set up or my lineup video was this which was I forgot I even had it this is the by Candace bold and free dot lined notebook so it has this nice soft um starry inside cover it's just dot lined paper and then three tabs and then last tab so so the interesting part about this, let me just bring that up. So here's the front of the paper, right? If you flip the paper, it says, create the life of your dreams. I would rather have seen that on the front of the paper, but it's not. Just a comment. Okay, so I've got this, and then I've got my planners. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of push these aside, and I'm going to show you like the bones of where I'm going with this. And then we're going to start pulling in some of these. And actually, let me do this. I need to make room so that I can bring this all in without tearing apart my desk. <laughs> I'm working on still limited space. You can see the little um, glass uh, dust pad that I have over here that I'm still crafting on. Uh, Christmas has ended and the gifts were made. You know, some of them are for my friends that I have not seen yet. But um, I'm still working on that, and so it's kind of hanging out until I finish. Um, so that's why that's over here. So, as you know, we have the label maker. And then 
I also found, let me bring these in first, just so you understand. So I found these two things. So this is just notebook paper, note paper from, um, I want to say it was an extension pack. Um, and I've had it for a while. So I pulled this out. And then I also came across this, which, which is the Goals Undated Hourly Extension Pack. I had at one time bought three of these packets. You get four months in a packet. So it gave me a year's worth of um, <clears throat> guts, let's say. And it's focused on goals. So um, here's the funny thing. In my planning, what I did <laughs> was I took out one of the tabs. Now this packet, I had already semi-dated the first tab. Um, doesn't matter what year it was, I had predated it. But then never used it. I switched to something else. Again, I don't even recall. So what I had done in one of my days as I was, you know, going through my angst of deciding what I'm going to do for 2024, I pulled this out and I redated the first tab. I, I fixed it all up and I redated it for January 2024. So <laughs> while this is the planner I was supposed to be starting, <clears throat> um, I'm going to be starting this one. I'm, I'm at least going to use that first tab because I don't think I could redate it again. Um, I think it's enough that if I were to try and redate it again, it's going to uh, rip the paper and become not usable. So I am going to stick with it. <clears throat> again, that's just the first uh, month for social media. Now, my whole premise for 2024 and this is why I was struggling with how to proceed my whole goal for 2024 is goals so it is going to be very um in my brain <laughs> hopefully it comes that way on paper it'll be very strategic and funneled down for what I want to accomplish for the year so um I, and that's why I kind of pulled this out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because it's goal-oriented, um, I was looking at this. And here's why. Okay, so if you remember, I had introduced this, this dusty old planner. <laughs> this outdated 18-month planner. It ends December of this year. I had introduced this because I wanted to take the inside pages from not so much the months but I wanted to take these two pages and I think that was it well and then it came with the months so um I was going to take this you know cut paste the whole jazz in with this so that I can have a goal function but have it be in this pretty more pretty planner so when I came across this just tossing that planner aside so when I came across this again in my craft room um I realized that you know it's the same thing the only difference is it's not dated so I pulled this out started playing with it this was before I even did the lineup video um so that's where we are. We are quite a ways into the video already. I'm kind of giving you background information so that you know where I'm going and why I'm going in that direction. So what I did was I pulled out my handy dandy expander discs, gold metal. They're the only discs I have in the expander size that have, um, that are gold, it's kind of neutral. So um, I was, you know, thinking I would get a different color, but then I was like, why when I have it here? So use what you have, use the stickers, shop your stash. So that's what I did. So what I did was I went ahead and I put on the discs. I tinkered around with my tabs. Let's see if I can get them so they show good. 
I still have my eight tabs. As you recall from my November backward videos, I had what I was using as my business planner, which was eight tabs. It had everything in it and then some. Um, and so what I did was I took the tabs out. I redid them based on how... I realized I was kind of duplicating some information or separating information that really could be put together. So, and then I went forward and I relabeled some tabs. So at the moment, I have future plans, goals and word of the year. I have an empty tab, which will be my planner tabs or the tab for all my planners, content ideas, um, my shop, finance, reference and notes. So those are all the tabs that, um, for the most part, three to four of them stayed the same. I did not change those, but I did change others. Because as I, if you recall from what I made mention of in the last video, I wanted goals. I mentioned it last video and then just now. Uh, I wanted goals to be the forefront of 2024. So um, I wanted to have a whole separate tab. I used to put it on... I, I went back and forth. I put it on for 2023, the January currently page. And while it was great there, I found I wasn't turning to it much because it kind of got lost in the shuffle. So um, I thought I'm going to pull it out separate now. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking the January month minus this one because as I said, um, I had already gone through, I don't think, let me just double check here. Just quickly check the rest of the pages. Okay, I think we're good. So, um, as I said, I had pulled out that Girl With Goals and I had already dated that January and I can't redo that again. It's already been done once, I can't do it again. So, I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, so, now my choices for cover are down to this one, which I'm kind of liking that, or this one, which has, you know, gold in it still. So um, I think, I think maybe to start the year, you know, we come from our Christmas planners, they're all colorful, it's, you know, I kind of want to tone it down a bit. So let me do that. Let me grab this because um, the cover will help give this some stability and we'll go through it a little bit more. So let me pull this off and the back cover. All right. Then I can kind of just put this aside. Okay. So let's see, we're going to put this one on and I am still short of space here. I apologize for that. Most of the, uh, once I get these, the January month out of there will be, I can move those out of the way. Um, so I like, you know, and it works great because there's gold writing, the gold discs, it's kind of toned down. I really do like that. So let me get, whoops, not that one. I got to go to the back side. Let me get that on. Okay, uh, and let me do this. So I know I'm not gonna pull a calendar out of here. So let me just set that aside. Let's do this so that I can get these planners out of the way. Let me go through and pull out the January. And I'm not sure yet if I'm going to take the, the hello page. We're gonna talk a little bit about, and I may come back to it. For now, what I'll do is let me pull the January page. Okay, so here's catch all. What I'll do first is I'll just pull them all out and then we'll put them in. So there's my catch all. And I'm still debating with this one. I may pull in more months at a time because it is a catch all. Um, I'm The jury's still out on that. Okay, and then we have the wellness. Let's pull out as well January. Um, here we go. Nice, beautiful green tab. 
Now I'm not going to pull out the currently page yet. Um, I mainly just want to get these put over and then we can talk about the details of each. And then, you know, I can kind of walk you through what this planner looks like. It, I kid you not when I say it has been um, a challenge to decide on my January tab. Or sorry, my January tab. I'm looking for the January tab. On my planner setup, I don't know what it was. I don't know why. It just is what it was. Okay, and then there is the creative journal, which really isn't, um, I think I talked about this, where my creative journal is one where I was going to, you know, do, I wanted, I kind of missed decorating the weeks, but then I was kind of like, you know, I mean, I don't know. It became, I think, too much. So I never did the weeks, but my original plan was always to do a memory a day. So I re I don't, I will call it my creative journal, but um, I really kind of see it more as a memory keeper. Okay. So let's see, we have all three tabs. I don't have the currently page just yet. These are going to go here. Let's get these in. And then we can kind of talk a bit about the structure and how I set it up and kind of like what I'm thinking in terms of using it, um, how I'll go forward, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay, um, I have some plans for the Thursday. So this is, I'm gonna post this today. Normally, it is never my goal to do the video on the day that it posts, but you know, with the holiday, it just is what it is. But um, I will still be posting this as if it were Tuesday. So it's gonna get posted today. Today is Wednesday. And um, as you can see now, I've, I've got quite a bit going on on these discs. So look at that. So already, now these are expander discs. Um, you know, I may not even, I, I'm gonna try maybe to get more catch-all planner in here, but I may not be able to, I don't know. Okay, let me just see if I can't push that up some more. Okay. Um, so here's why I like this idea. The beauty is with this, although again, my discs aren't the color, you know, my little theme of green going on. Um, gold is really something that I have in my office throughout. I love gold. Um, so for me, it kind of works. And it really fits with each one. Now, this is a, probably more of a rose gold, but I could pop on and off any cover I want. So let's dive into the meat and bones of this quickly. And um, while I am sitting here chitty chatting, let me, I am going to just create a label. Hopefully I left it at the correct size. And we're going to get my one label, my one tab labeled. I shouldn't say my one label. Okay, so all I wanna do is trim this down. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my scissors and I'm just gonna give this label a little trim so that it just fits better. That's all, no rhyme or reason otherwise. And then it will be all ready for that tab. And not that I need to know where my planners are, but again, from the top, it just looks better because it's all labeled. Everything is the same. Here we go. So here, I'm going to put that up there so it doesn't get stuck. So here's my current plan, my setup for 2024. It incorporates four planners. Um, and then let me walk you through the setup here. So on the inside, I kind of like this cover because it had just, you know, a nice neutral background, nothing, you know, jarring, you know, it's just a nice, um, comeback after the holidays and all the color and the sparkle everywhere. You know, I just kind of felt it was very calming and, um, 
good for the new year. So, you know, I like kind of like a, a black and gold um, kind of look when it comes to the January spread. Um, so that's kind of probably why I felt more towards this. So when I open it, I have, of course, my um, vellum page that I made for my planner. And then behind it, I have a um, just a brand sheet that I created so that I can have quick access to what are my fonts, what are the color numbers, that kind of thing. Um, and it continues on to the back side. Then I was finding, and you may find this too, <clears throat> with our planners, when we continue, you know, when we constantly change them throughout the year, um, future plans can kind of get lost in the shuffle. Now, I never use these pages really. I've tried different ways. Um, I'm going to try using them in the way I think my brain, it'll work for my brain. We'll see how well it goes. I may run out of space. I may have to reconfigure something, but as of right now, what I did under my future plans, I took the uh, annual pages from the front of the, um, it was the, I want to say modern months checklist planner. Uh, I took, so as you know, that was 18 months, so it was 23, 24. I left the 23 in there. I hadn't used it, so I grabbed out the 2024. And I did have to paste these two pages together because right after 2024 started the 2023 months. I don't want the 23 months. This is going just straight up 2024 forward. So I glued those two together. And then I will start right out with January 2024. And then, and then as you know, you're pretty familiar with these. Now, what I don't know is if I'm going to, say, run out of space. So um, let me think. Okay, so what if <clears throat> I had, you know, a birthday, an anniversary, um, and a third item, whatever that may be. And they were all, say, on the 13th of January. I wouldn't have enough room. So what I may do is if I have the 13th, again, this is how I'm thinking of it at the moment, if I have three things for the 13th and I know I'm not going to use the 14th, 15th, and or maybe 16th, I'll wipe those out and then I'll just block it in. So that's my plan for my future plans. I just was always finding that I had ideas or things I would think of that I want to do during certain months, but then they were all lost in the shuffle of all the planners that would come into play during the, the year. Now I'm going to try and stick to this stack. But if I don't for some reason, I know that I will always have these pages dedicated for that purpose. So that gives me some peace knowing that I will be able to pre-plan anything I need to and I won't lose it. So that now all has a dedicated space. Um, let's see. Okay. And of course, as you know, on the back of there's the July currently page. I see it, but I'm not going to worry about it. Now, in the front of every tab, I went, unless it was a future, the future plan, which I liked seeing 2024. So I did like seeing that, um, which gives me also a sidebar to make any notes on. What I did, let's see, what's the next one here? Okay, so for every tab, I pretty much took one of those pieces of note paper and I put it in front of the tab, or I should say, I put it behind the tab. And that what that helps doing is while I'm doing these uh, flip throughs or I talk about my planner, if I flip to a section, I didn't have information just hanging out there. So while it is an extra piece of paper, it's actually a pretty thick piece of paper. So, um, I didn't mind that. I had to look at some notes. <laughs> um, I don't mind that. And I, I just feel like it gives it a little bit more um, of a solid look as opposed to just papers randomly behind every tab. So I did do that. Um, I do have in here a, um, uh, what are these called? Paid protectors. 
I did pull out one I do want to create because this is the section for my goals and word of the year. So um, I did want to create a vision board. Um, as you know, I did do the planner assessment and the planner inventory, all of which I've included under this goals section um, for no other reason that other than it just seemed the most appropriate place to put it. So then we get to my planner section. So let's grab that label. Let's get that on. And that will give me a nice clean look at the top. And let's see, is that far enough up? If it isn't, I can always move it later. That's the nice thing about these tabs. I can really take things on and off it doesn't get stuck on there um, or goopy at all. So I really do like that. So I have my planners. This will be my catch-all planner. And again, I'm still debating about the name page, which I may do. Um, so in here, as you know, this planner was the Fresh Fields and it's already pre-decorated. So you really won't ever see much of this going on. So um, it's pretty much, you know, my I call it, everyone else calls it a catch-all. I call it my everything planner because anything and everything, whether it be personal down to business to uh, notations, it's all going to go into this planner, which is why I said I may want to include more than one month. And I may still do that, but for the purpose of showing you my setup, I'm only going to put one month in at the moment. So we have January. I have, of course, the notes section. I've got a full calendar month to do with however I need to. I do think I'll be creating something. Um, I don't have a folder in here, I don't believe. Maybe I do. Um, we'll get to it. <laughs> but... Um, I'm going to be incorporating as much as I can into this one planner. It's important for me to have, I know for me, one planner for everything. Like I can pick this thing up and this has everything in it that I need. Things for my blog, things for the store, things for YouTube, goals, whatever. Everything is in one location. I'll be able to identify what planners, which, which planner is which on my shelf because of the discs. So that keeping the covers on the discs uh, made sense because then I can more easily identify what month, what planner is what planner. So this particular planner is a dashboard planner. And as you are most familiar with it, a dashboard has your tasks, you have a block for important looking ahead notes, and then your dashboard. So how I set this up may vary from month to month, but it will kind of mirror my um, mini because my mini is a dashboard and I'm finding that for the, the listing function, this worked out pretty well. So this will likely be that same sort of formatting for me. And again, it will allow me that when I know um, let's say something's more detailed. Um, I have an idea that I want to do in July and I already have most of the information I could put into the future plans tab here. I can pull out this planner and I can put that information in under the July tab in more detail. And then I can say C tab in pencil so I can easily erase it if I want to. So that's kind of my thinking with this. All right, moving on. Um, so we get to the end of that. Um, I have to be careful to know that this February dashboard does not belong to this February or this tab here, which in this case is January. I have to try and remember that. This might be good if I start using it to, you know, pre-plan for February. Ideas, notes, that type of thing. So, you know, I may or may not put something in between these. I, I need to work in it before I can decide for sure. So then we'll go into my wellness planner. So I'm kind of thinking, you know, when the day starts, I'm going to start here. 
Then I'm going to go right into my wellness and then I'm going to, you know, and I'm going to keep going down until I've, you know, funneled through my planners and done all the things I need to do. And then I set to work. So that's kind of my thinking, my thought process. So here's my wellness. It is the Heal From Within planner structure. And you have your month. There's, um, in this case, in the sidebar, this one here, I don't know if it's the same, all of them. It says, list three things you love about yourself and why. So, you know, I may change those up. I may decorate, I may not decorate, you know. I do have wellness stickers that, again, I haven't used. Um, I really need to get better in 2024 with um, paying attention to doing the things I need to do. So um, that's where this is going to come in. This is this is the All About Me Planner section of the Franken Planner. Okay. Then you just go right into a week. I'm, I may change one or two of these labels. Um... Again, I got to kind of work with it. I haven't worked with a wellness planner in a really long time. I don't expect since I have this stack of planners that any one planner will be completely full. Um, some information may be carried over. It depends on what I feel I need to look back on if I go to that planner. So, you know, one or more of these may or may not be changed. Probably the nourish I will leave as it is. And in this one here, I may know, you know, what I ate you know, that type of thing. So that's kind of my thinking with that. So that's the same throughout one month. And again, for February, I can kind of pre, you know, list some things out. Then we go into the memory keeper slash creative journal. It was called creative journal, but I'm thinking it's really going to be more of a memory keeper. And that is going to be my month always gets decorated. So this is something I'll be trying to do more of. Um, and then it'll be a memory a day. Now, I'm going to leave the weeks in here for now. They are just traditional vertical. Um, I don't know that I'm going to get to them. If the time presents itself and um, I have a bunch of things happening in one week, you know, I may pull out my Canon Ivy and print off some pictures to slap in there, and then I can journal some things, you know, with them. Um, but that, again, I got to get into the year, see how things are going, um, and then we'll see. So that ends the planner section for everything non-business. Then, behind this vellum dashboard, it just says strategic. Um, I have and will keep, and this just separates my business from everything else. So this is going to be, at least for January, the Girl with Goals extension pack. My reasoning is because I really want to focus in on those goals. I want to, you know, drill down on them and really um, make some noted changes and improvements um, and other things along the way in 2024. So I don't believe I wrote anything. I did not. So what I had to do was, you know, of course, January worked out fine because I was going to start it in January. I did have to change this out. Uh, the numbers I had to pull off and redate because, of course, they were for the wrong year. So I did do that. I just, as you can tell, I covered up some things. I put a sticker down here. Um, this will become kind of the... Um, dashboard of sorts for my content plans. Um, it, it may not end up looking the prettiest. Uh, it, it may have cross-offs, erasers, whatever. Um, I was always very aware to be neat in my business planner. And I may still, I may not be able to do the messy thing. We'll see how it goes. But this is going to be where I kind of plan out for the month what I want to do. And, and I may, for a couple of these planners, want to add more than one month. We'll see how it goes. Um, and then, I don't believe I made any notes in anything. Okay. So when you turn from the month, it immediately goes into the goals for the month in a top priorities list. So this differs from the um, Achieve Greatness Planner because this top priority list for here 
was really a things to follow up on. It was a four quadrant um, setup. So my intent is whatever my goals are, um, and I break them down, this will be the area where I am going to write out what are the goals that I need to do in this month or that I can do in this month to reach those larger goals. I love the top priority list because it really kind of pulls my attention and focuses me down to just five top priorities. Things that for sure I need to get done. So I, I'm kind of liking this. Again, it's a very large month for all of this, but I'm going to see how it works because it's kind of giving me the vibe that I like. And then, of course, we have the task list, which I really do like. I've tried master plans throughout the years. Um, some work, some don't. I will try it again. Um, I'm looking at this more of like a brain dump. Just dump whatever I got to get rid of, get it out of my head so that I can do these other things. And then if I come back to them, I can check them off. So that's what that's going to be. Then you go right into the week. And just like the Achieve Greatness Planner, it's a timed vertical line, vertical spread, hourly spread. The difference that, and I don't, I'd have to pull out the Achieve Greatness Planner. I don't remember if it had this or not. I, I would think it did. But I do like the top box for you know, what has to be done. I like these two colored boxes. There's two lines here and those boxes are colored in with a check box for capturing other social media that I have been missing. Um, while I, you know, work on blog and YouTube, sometimes Instagram and Pinterest gets left behind. So I do like these here. And then the timed area, I may or may not wait these out I don't know um but if I you know at minimum I'm sure I'll be pulling in my highlighters because highlighting a block for anything is going to be always more helpful than if you didn't highlight it so that's my belief so that's where I'm going with that now at the end of every week there were these additional pages that the achieve greatness did not have there's the things to follow up on, which they did have, and that was directly behind the month. So that quadrant page was here. But in this setup, it's here, things to follow up on. So this is now your week has ended, or maybe you couldn't get to it that week. Um, you know, I can section it out by the business area, um, write a running list, and then it has a weekly focus going into the new week. Now, I don't know if I'll use that in that manner, but that's how it's set up. Um, and then that was pretty much the, that entire planner. At the end of the month, it had a write it down page, which I'm used to from the monthly planner. You know, you have your left and right, what worked, what didn't. Maybe you just want to make notes. So that is always good to have these pages. And then it has upcoming projects, which I do like because this is going to help me, I'm hoping, stay on target for the projects that need to be done during certain months of the year. So I'm really liking this layout and I'm hoping it works for me. So while I loved the... Um, monthly and monthly layout in the checklist and I pasted everything together. I want to try and minimize the amount of time I'm pasting together, maybe focus more on the priorities I have set out for myself. So next is my content ideas. This section is the same. The only difference is I added in a few other tabs. So I just kind of realign these along the edge. I have the paper up front. I did keep a tab. Let me pull this off here for a minute. Okay. So I want to show this to you because, again, maybe this setup and the way I do it would help you as well. So within my content section, I have this little tab that I decided to use. And in that tab, it's telling me my t content color code. So as you know, in the beginning of the planner, there is a um, my brand sheet, but I was finding that I needed to have 
someplace where I was designating color codes within my content planner that identified certain areas that I was working in. In steps my color code sheet, which basically consisted of colored blocks. I listed out the area um, and I think I used every single one of my mild liner highlighters. So you definitely want to pick up some of those. Um, so it is something that I find is very helpful and, um, and it might be helpful for you too, to use the same idea. Uh, let me make sure there's nothing on the back. Okay. Then I go into my shop. Again, I just have this paper. I like that I can maybe turn the page and not have things out there. Um, this is basically a running list. Um, there are ideas, there's steps. Um, if, there, if it's a project, there's a project sheet in here. Um, and these are just all things for the store, which is the behind the design shop. You can get to it from the blog, which is behindthedesigns.blog. And, um, and this is where I'm gonna plan out all those things. Then I have finance, which is going to be part, um, let me pull out this paper. It's going to be part budget, which I need to get back on a budget for personal. And then it's also going to be part um, finance for the business. So I do kind of have a little page here. I should probably put one at the front and the back. Um, so that's kind of what that area is going to be about. Then I have a reference section that is purely notes. Nothing more than notes. You know, project ideas, thoughts, ideas, whatnot. So, and then as you know, under my notes section... Um, which is kind of notes slash extra pages. In here, I have all those extra pages I've created. So the spring cleaning, home projects, which I have to go through and do an update of. I think I've done some things. And then in the back behind all of that, I did put in one of the clear happy planner um, sticker sleeves. And I put in some stickers because I love sticker dots. Um, and then a few extra pictures uh, or stickers for different various reasons. Um, I always love to have a lot of stickers handy, but sometimes that folder is kind of bulky. So I went ahead and just put this in quickly so I could put those in my planner. And then backside is just more stickers. I've also included some note paper. Um, and then and then it's just paper. It's just extra paper that I can pull out and use, jot notes down, make notes, what, what have you. So that is, in a nutshell, my 2024 Franken Planner setup that incorporates four planners. I do have a mini. Do you, I've already done that setup. And... Um, at least for the beginning or the start of the year, this will be my setup. Um, I'm going to try and stick to it for a whole month. I'm going to stay with all the planners and we're going to see how it goes. But going into 2024, as I said, use your stash, use your stickers, shop your stash. Um, I was surprised that I found the Girl With Goals packet. I mean, I had three of them and I hadn't even used them. So um, get them organized and shop your stash. Um, let's do that. Let's do that for 2024. So here you go. I hope you have enjoyed um, seeing how I have set up how my little brain works in terms of how I'm thinking of planning going into 2024. I do have still some goals, things that I will be doing in the coming days. And um, then we're just going to hit the ground running, take a few days off, and we are going to be kicking it into 2024. So stay tuned for more of that. All right. So I hope I have inspired you to do something creative today and every day and that you create your beautiful life one plan at a time. Thank you for watching.